Hey everybody, Sensei Matt here, ready for another class with you. This is our class for green belts and higher. I'm excited to be teaching you today. I got some fun things for you to be working on and some skills for us to practice and, uh, and improve. I'm glad you're here. A couple of things you might need today. Uh, get a karate belt, get your, your current belt. You can take it off uh, when we need to, or if you have an old belt sitting around, you can use it. Uh, of course, get your nunchucks too, because we're gonna be using them for part of the class as well. All right, let's begin. Show me focus and respect. And then say, there we go, good, feet apart, and repeat after me the student creed. I intend to develop myself in a positive manner and to avoid anything that would reduce my mental growth or my physical health. Number two, I intend from a sparring stance, there we go. I intend to develop self-discipline in order to bring out the best in myself and others. And now punch, and number three, I intend to use what I learn in class constructively and defensively help myself and my community and never to be abusive or offensive. All right, good job. So get your karate belt. You can take off your belt as you're wearing or use one that you have laying around. All right, and I'm gonna angle the camera a little bit because we're gonna put the belt on the floor and you're gonna use it for some of your warm-ups. All right, first I just want you to fold the belt into quarters maybe like this and then place it on the floor. Good, and you're just gonna do your jumps side to side over the belt. You're gonna jump this way, back and forth, over the belt, and I want you to go for 20 jumps. Ready, go. 20 jumps, keep going. Keep going, keep jumping, both feet together. Small jumps, small jumps. This is just your warm up right now. Back and forth. Keep going, when you get to 20, you can rest. And then we're gonna change the belt. All right, we're gonna angle it this way now so it's going sideways. And are you done with your 20? Good. All right, front to back. One, two, three, four. 20 jumps, front to back over the belt. There you go. Keep going. Get your number 20. That's it, keep it up. All right, when you get to 20, now we're gonna change the belt and you might have to get on the floor to do this. You're gonna make an angle and then bring the belt back and make it go out one way and the other way. So you have kind of an X, all right? You see that, how it's kind of making an X pattern? All right, it might take a few seconds to get that set up. Go ahead and give it a try. All right, when you have it set up, now I want you to hop with both feet all the way around the X. Ready, go, one, two, three, four. That's it, good. Do it three or four times in one direction. And then switch and go the other way. That's it. You have to look down at it maybe to make sure you're hopping the right way. If you mess up the belt, just fix it real quick and get right back to it. All right, and rest. Okay, here's the next one. Same idea, but with one foot. So you're gonna stand on one leg and you're gonna hop, 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 hop. All right, try to get around all four with a hop. All right, do it. Do it, do it a couple of times in one direction. And then switch the other direction. All right, good, now try the other leg. Pick up the other leg, hop with one foot. Hop, 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 whoa. There you go, not easy. That's it, good job. Keep it up one more time and break all right good now keep a hold of that belt because we're going to use it for our next activity and this is sitting down and wrap the belt over your feet like this and then stretch forward pull your body forward stretching your muscles stretch it down stretch it down that's it 
and bring it up. Remember, you have to get to the point on a stretch where you feel a little discomfort, where you feel the muscles being stretched. You have to push yourself on a stretch in order to get improvement. Now put your legs out to the side and put the belt over one leg and lean towards that side, stretch. That's it, always hold it. Don't just bounce into your stretch, but hold it for a few seconds. And up. Switch to the other side. Stretch it down. See if you can get your head all the way down to your knee. Keep your knee straight. Don't bend it up. All right, good job. All right, we're done with our stretching and our warm up for now. So you can take your belt and either put it back on or put it off to the side. And get ready for working our techniques. All right, are you ready? All right, good. We're gonna go into our kicks first, and I know we've been working our crescent kicks, so I want you to try some different combinations that include crescent kicks in them. All right, first one is from a sparring stance, a back leg round kick into a spinning crescent kick. Ready, back leg, round kick. Turn your foot, turn your head, spin the crescent kick as you come around. Now you have to switch legs to get back to where you were. Ready? Round kick, turn, spin crescent. Good, ready again, from your guard and go. Good, and back to your guard. Ready, go. Round kick, spin crescent kick. That's it. Always get your head around on the spin crescent kick. Ready, go. One, two, that's it. Good, and one more time. Ready, go. There you go, all right. Now we're on the opposite side, so we're gonna stay there so we can practice our move on this side. Back leg round kick, turn the leg as you come around, spin crescent. And then remember to switch back so you're in position for the next kick. Ready, go. Good, do it a couple more times on your own. Back leg round kick, spin crescent. Remember to start on this side forward. Again, go. And again, go. Good, all right. Hey, putting in that spin crescent is a tough move, but I'm glad you're working on it, trying to improve on that technique. Now, we're gonna do our front leg crescent, the stepping up crescent, and then follow it with a back leg round kick and a side kick. So ready, step up, crescent. Now the other leg, round kick. Set it down in front and then step up and side kick. Again, crescent kick, round kick, side kick. Good, again, put it all together and go. Crescent kick, round kick, side kick, again. And go. Good. And one more time. Ready? Go. All right, switch legs. In karate, we try to work both sides equally to be well balanced with our skill and our strength on both sides of the body. Ready? Front leg crescent kick. Back leg round kick. Step up. Side kick. Yes. All right. Put it together and go. Crescent kick, round kick, side kick. Good. Come back to this guard when you're done. Ready, go. Good. Good. All right, good. Are you keeping your guard up during all the kicks? This time when you're doing it, if you're watching the screen at the same time with you doing it, you can see if you're doing your crescent kick. Uh, and keeping your guard up at the same time. Ready and go. Crescent, round, side. That's it. All right, and break. 
All right, we're going to add one more. And this time, we're going to start with a front kick, a side kick, and then a crescent kick, all with the same leg. And they're all stepping up kicks, so they're all done with the front leg. So it's a step up front kick. Turn yourself a little bit, a step up side kick, set it down, and then step up crescent kick. Jeff, all three kicks with the same leg. Stepping up each time. Ready? One, front, two, side, three, crescent. Yes. Again. One, two, three. Yes, good. Show me it again. Ready? Go. Front kick, side kick, crescent kick. Good. One more time. Front kick, side kick, crescent kick. All right, switch legs. Let's work that other side. Front kick, side kick, crescent kick. Yes. And again, ready? One, two, three. That's the way, good. Put it all together. Ready, go. Good. Keep your balance. And back, back to this guard. And again, go. Good, good, all right. Nice work on your crescent kicks. Let's change our uh, focus for a few minutes as we move into our nunchucks. So go ahead and grab your double nunchucks if you have them. If not, if you only have one, do the moves with one hand, do it with the other hand, and talk to your sensei about getting that second set of nunchucks. All right, you remember, hold them in the middle of the stick and warm it up with the spins and then switch direction good now remember this drill one spinning forward one spinning backwards try that coordination good keep nice smooth spins all the time all right and stop all right bring them up over your shoulder now under your shoulder to catch them under your, your arms now we know the double snap strikes. Ready, go, go, go. Good, now do three fast, one right after the other, like this. Ready, go. Good, all right, do it again, three in a row quick, go. Nice, one more time, ready, go. All right, good work. Now we're gonna alternate the strikes. Let's practice one, two, three, four, the rapid fire strikes, right? One, two, three, four. Get a good catch each time. And now let's try for those four as fast as you can. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Ah, did you beat me? Let's see if you can beat me. You have to catch it each time for it to count. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Oh, I missed it. All right, you beat me that time. Ready, go. One, two, three, go. Hey, that was pretty fast. One more time, go. One, two, three, go. Oh, I think I did an extra one. All right, hey, anyway, that was good practice on the snapping strikes. How about the double figure eights? Outside figure eights? Crisscross figure eights? Good. Parallel figure eights, side by side. Good. All right, good. And then the following double figure eights. One follows the other, both spinning around. Maybe you can move around in a circle as you're doing it. Keep the nunchucks moving. Keep your body moving the whole time. Spinning around as you're spinning the nunchucks. Good, and stop. All right, that's good. Those uh, can tire out your arms pretty quickly, so it, you know it's a good arm exercise when you're doing those double nunchuck spins. All right, if you're having trouble with any of those, put a little extra time into them. Practice them on your own and uh, start to get the skill down. Now, in the past couple of weeks, we've also been working on the switching of the grip. Remember with a single nunchuck, switch the grip? Switch the grip. Oh, yep, yeah, sometimes we drop it. All right, 
Swing it and catch. Swing it and catch. String around the back of the hand and open the hand quickly and then close it. Open it quickly and then close it. All right, so if you've been doing that and hopefully you've been practicing both hands, now I want you to do it along the side of your body, like this. So it's going on the side instead of in front of you. So swing it backwards or swing it forward, depending on how you're trying to catch it. And practice the other hand too, right along the side of your body. Just like that. Good. All right, now go with the regular grip, the basic grip but now put them both on the sides of the body and see if you can switch both of them at the same time. Hey, I got it. And then go backwards and catch it. That's a tough one. Both at the same time, switching and catching. Whoa, there you go. Oh, I can adjust for that one. Sometimes you don't get a perfect catch. We all need to keep practicing to try to get it better every time. Forward and back. Yeah. Oh, and if we drop them, we get right back and try again. That's it. That's it. All right, good. So that's your uh, single nun or double nunchucks new skill to work on. But I want you to put one nunchuck off the side and just go back to a single one because I want you to do some of your moves that we learned when we were using the single nunchuck, like over the shoulder catch. Remember that one? Practice those moves a little bit. Good, around the world catch. And switch and go the other way too. Remember to catch this, the nunchuck that's free, don't catch the one that you're already holding, catch the one that you're not holding when you come around. Good, all right, remember the, um, uh, bounces off the shoulders, a bounce, uh, bounces off the hips, and when you're bouncing off the shoulder, the one that goes around the neck. You remember that catch? Go around the neck. The thing to remember on that one is when you bounce it on the same side that you're holding the nunchuck on, now you extend it around the front of you and the nunchuck will swing around behind your neck. You catch it and then you bring it out. So your last bounce is the one that's on the same side that you're holding the nunchuck. Now swing it, catch, and bring it around. All right, practice that one a few times. Swing it around to the front. Good, all right. Uh, now some of you also know of a behind the back catch. And you put your hand behind the back, and you catch it that way, whoa, here it is, behind the back. In the back. So those are good ones to practice too. All right, so keep up your single nunchuck skills as, at the same time as you're working on your doubles. All right, put your nunchucks away. And we're moving on to our kata. Now, if you're a, a higher ranked student and we're working mostly on the hanchi kata in the video, you can do nahanchi once and then maybe do wansu to review that. Maybe do uh, one of your higher katas, kusanku or chinto, all right? And you can always pause the video while you complete your kata and then get back to the video to finish it uh, as well. But for the sake of the students learning the hanchi kata, that's what we're gonna do in today's class. All right, now most of you know it all the way through, so let's do it step by step. Yes, Meg, kids kick, great. Hajime, kata, nahanchi. Open hands, feet together, and look. Step, step, one. How'd you do with your stance? That first stance is very important. If you hit a good Nahanchi stance here, you'll be remembering to do it all the way through the rest of the cotton. Ready, hit, and down. Avoid the sweep the other way, down block, spear hand. Step over and kick, and when you land, don't forget a good stance. One, two, three, four. Look to the side, avoid the sweep, and look. Look to the other side, avoid the sweep, and hit. Drop the hands, avoid the sweep, and double punch. Nice. Now, block. Did you remember to bring this hand all the way back? That's right. Elbow. Down. Avoid. 
downward, spear. Step over and kick. Up block, down, elbow, hip. Look to the side, avoid the sweep. Remember to land in a good Nahanchi stance. Out and back. Other side, avoid the sweep, hip. Hands down, avoid and double. Push. And that's the last move. And then we come back and finish properly. All right, good. Now, I'd like you to do this kata by yourself another time. And again, if you have a higher kata that you want to practice, go ahead and do that. Ready? Yasmin. Kyutsuke. Great. Hajime. Good. Pay attention to your eye contact and your stances. Turn your head when you're changing directions. Maintain the proper stance in whatever kata you're doing. And get some power into your moves. Remember that the kata is a fight. So when you're doing the kata, you have to be striking hard, blocking hard, putting some energy and intensity behind your moves. That's the way. Come on, you can do it. Good, keep it up. And if you're finished with the kata, just rest. But remember, it's not a rush to get through the kata as quickly as you can. Don't be in a rush to finish your kata. Take your time, do it properly with some power, with some intensity. If you're just rushing through it, you're not getting the good form, you're not getting as much power as you can. All right. Good. All right, if you didn't finish your kata, uh, you can finish it later, practice again on your own um, uh, after the video is done. All right, we're going to do a self-defense move. Now, I know you don't have somebody right in front of you right now to do the self-defense, but I want you to uh, learn this. And then uh, for kids, practice with a parent. For uh, adults, maybe a, a, a spouse or even your child can, can be somebody that can help you with this self-defense. And you can teach them that move at the same time. So we're gonna do a self-defense against a push. If somebody steps in and tries to push you, uh, to push you over. Now, if you're letting somebody get too close to you, well, that's a problem in itself. So anytime somebody starts coming close to you, starts invading your space, your personal space, that's the time to step back, put your hands up and, and be watching them and really keeping your, your awareness up because you don't know what they're gonna do. Anytime they're within a distance where they can hit you, that's the danger zone. Don't let somebody get into the danger zone without you having your hands up. Hands down, ah, that's a problem. It takes too long for the hands to come up to protect yourself, so start them up. All right, so somebody's reaching in to push, and when they're pushing, or even if they're coming in to grab you, that's really the same motion, you're gonna get your hands in between and push them out to the side. Now, a lot of you have done that uh, before. Down with the hands, push them out to the side. Just try that. Down, your hands come together, and then push out. Good. So, under, turn. Good, getting the hands out to the side. Now, if it's a very dangerous situation, you might need to strike them or do something where you can escape. If it's somebody who's just kind of fooling around with you, but you don't want them to, to be doing that, that's where we do the turning around move. And a lot of you remember that. You put your hands on their shoulders and you pull one shoulder and push the other one till they turn and then give them a little shove. That doesn't hurt them, but it stops them from attacking you. I think a lot of you know it. If you want to practice that one, you can do that one too. But in this case, we're gonna do some strikes in order to get away. So here's our first move, deflect against that. Now with both hands, give a strong double palm strike right on the chest back to them. Boom, this way. Now that should make them stumble back a little bit and maybe that's the end of the confrontation right there. But you don't know if, they're, uh, if they didn't get hurt, if they're uh, really strong, that didn't do it, and they start to come back at you. You're gonna turn back a little bit. But notice I keep my hands up, but I turn my body back and I give a back kick. Boom, and then I step away to get away from the opponent. So I'm still doing the back kick right to their body. So here's the moves again, hands up, deflect, double palm strike, turn back, 
pick up the leg, back kick, and step away. That's important after the back kick, is you put your foot down away so that you can step back and be safe and still have your guard up and still be watching them. If you need to get away at that point, if you need to run, you do that, that's okay. That's part of self-defense too. The idea is to protect yourself. So again, deflect, double strike. That might be enough, they might not come at you anymore. Turn back, back kick, and step away. All right, one more time. Ready, hands up, deflect, double palm strike, and back kick and step away. All right, good. Now, if you have someone at home that you can practice with, of course do it safely. Don't kick your parents or your brother or sister. Just do the moves carefully, don't hit anybody hard, but just practice that to get the timing to break the grip, to hit, to lean back, to do the kick, and then to step away. And again, keep your guard up there the whole time. All right, that's your self-defense move. It's good to practice it in the air. It's better to practice it with a partner. So if you have someone that you can do it with, ask them uh, to help you out, and they're just gonna reach their hands out slowly, and you're gonna practice your moves, and you're gonna do it carefully and respectfully with your partner. All right. Now, uh, we're about to finish class, but I wanna remind you about uh, doing some of your own home practice. A lot of you have a hand target, one of the pads that we gave out, or maybe you have a couch cushion that you can use. And this is again where I'm gonna ask you to have a parent or another family member help you by holding out the pad. And I want you to be practicing your roundhouse kicks, your hook kicks, and your crescent kicks. Now we haven't been hitting anything with the crescent kicks because we've been doing it in the air, but your crescent kick, the inside one, should hit on the outside of the foot. So the outside of your foot, the blade of your foot should be hitting the pad. You can do it yourself just to get the idea of contact, but it's nice when somebody else is holding it uh, out towards you. So they should hold it out nice and straight like that so that you can step up and outside crescent kick or inside crescent kick on that one. Now, for the outside crescent kick, it's the back leg. And again, you can practice by yourself by coming around and just slapping the pad with your leg. Make that big arc and let your foot hit the pad, just like that. When you have somebody else holding it for you, when you hit it, you follow through. So you come back all the way to the other side. So crescent kicks, inside crescent kick, outside crescent kick, even spinning crescent kick. Have them hold the pad. You'll figure out which way to have the, the pad pointed so that your foot can hit it on the spinning crescent kick. So practice those moves. That'll help you get the targeting, the focus, uh, and good power behind your kicks when you're actually hitting something. All right, good class today, everybody. I'm proud of your hard work, your attention to uh, continued improvement, and uh, remember that in the martial arts, it's about what you do with your body, and it's about your mind and your spirit as well. So keep that good attitude, be helpful at home, get along with other people. If you make a mistake, apologize. If there's something you can do to help uh, another family member, go ahead and do that. Uh, remember that a martial arts person uh, always has a positive attitude. So let's try to keep that up as much as possible. All right, here we go. Let's finish up our class. Show me your focus position. Ready, focus and respect. And good, you're welcome. And let's do the black belt principles as a dedicated student of the martial arts. I will live by the principles of black belt. Honesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What kind of school is this? It's a black belt school. Thank you, everybody. Hey, great job. Hope to see you soon, and uh, keep up the good training. All right, take care now. Bye-bye.